Today the project's to uh, get this train wreck of a grain auger back in working order. I don't know how hard it's going to be. Looks like somebody heaved it off a semi at about 60, so. Or it got ran over by a semi at 60. It's pretty messed up either way. So the goal is to take all that mess off of there and make my own mess. Hopefully my own mess will make uh, grain come out of a little chute here. Well, it's fairly apparent at this point I'm going to need uh, a little more height. I'm going to have to go get a ladder. Well, I think I should be able to pretty successfully film the back of my head from that angle. That'll work good. All right, let's try this again. Rickety old wooden ladder, proper tools. What could go wrong? Even a blind squirrel finds a nut every now and again. We got more of those. Okay, we're gonna toss this thing. All it's gonna do is get in the way. Our new pulley's not gonna fit in there. It's a skosh heavier duty than the last one. The last cheesy aluminum thing I don't really care for those so <clears throat> over the left shoulder she goes what we need to do is straighten this out a bit make it look like this guy then we're gonna make a mount for this motor goes on here and it's adjustable so a belt can go up and drive the pulley. Hopefully it's just that simple. Probably straight enough for a ratty old grain auger. In theory, we'll make something out of this. B 
beam that it's just a grain auger. We're not doing anything real critical here. We're just going to eyeball it. Close enough is close enough. that should be plenty good. Have the best camera angle but I haven't figured out how to make the camera hover in midair yet so gotta take what we get I guess. Today we're going to continue with the grain auger project. I got it hooked up and, uh, and working the other day, but it doesn't have quite enough power and we're running roughly 150 feet of extension cord. So 150 feet of extension cord on a 20 amp circuit, running 16 amps on this motor. It doesn't take a rock scientist to figure out that it doesn't last very long before it blows the breaker. It may or may not work properly if we had proper power in this building. 
but it doesn't seem like the motor has quite enough snort either way. So I went ahead and ordered a 15 inch pulley. I believe it's 15 inch and a longer belt. This pulley is 11 inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap out the pulley. One way or another, it's gonna make it better. Um, it'll slow the auger speed down, which isn't really the end of the world. It may or may not help the situation with our lack of proper power. Um, but either way, it can't hurt. And if at a later date I need to change back to this one, this pulley will be sitting on the shelf. But it's the middle of winter, I can't exactly dig, dig a trench for uh, proper power. So this is what we're going to do and cross our fingers and hope, uh, hope it improves. It works the way it is, it just uh, needs some improvement. Here's the size difference of the pulley. That should make a substantial difference. All that rigmarole for that. Before I had that set up, we were scooping it out of the top, idiots. And we forgot scooper in there. <laughs> <laughs> 